Seems to be running out of space in the workshop today. Hello, I'm just halfway through sorting this out. This is a Hitachi 50-inch uh, smart TV. It's of its age, so we say. I would say this is probably about seven or eight years old, maybe more. I will show you the model number in a moment. And well, I'll tell you what, I'll put it up on screen now if I remember. Uh, this has got a backlight issue, and I'm just sticking a brand new set of backlights in. So it's pretty much a straightforward job, but. It isn't straightforward. You know, there's so many things that could go wrong. Is that right? That should be a C, shouldn't it? No, that's a B as well. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm just engraved into the board, you've got A's and B's. That's all it is on these, A's and B's. So we should have two A's left and a B. And I've got an A, a B, and an A, yeah? Which is a little bit, I don't know if you can see, but, you know, it got a bit bent in the post. And they're really not made as well as... Now, I'm not going to say the good old days, because I'm only talking about five years ago. Backlights now from China have become as cheap as possible, but they are made as cheap as possible. It, it has to be said, which is why I said it. Anyway, just putting these in and lining them up. Is that an A? It is. I mean, with a new set of backlights, this TV should go on and last for, you know, a few more years. And obviously, I'm going to put a year's warranty on it. But I'd be surprised if this has still got any working apps. It may have, but I think it's of that age. Where the apps are starting to go. Right. Too much mess. Let's get the mess out and the sticky tape away. Bring the reflector sheet back down and see if we can get it to line up okay. Yeah, that looks all right, doesn't it? That looks all right. Just make sure everything else is... They do look much nicer when they've had a brand new set of backlights. Just putting the screen supports back in. That one's lost its tabs, so Stick that back in with a bit of glue. There it is. There's my bit of glue. Seems to be running out of glue. How can you run out of glue? I wouldn't advise TVs of this age to just have a repair, um, even though there was only one LED that had failed in this machine. In this machine. Just making sure it's all down, all clicking into place. 
because it can let you believe that it is when it isn't. Especially just there. I saw that. Right. Almost gone in precisely, but not quite. That's better. Right, where's me rubber bungs? I've got four white rubber bungs over here somewhere. There they are, right in front of my eyes. But I couldn't see them because they're white. Just push them back in. Um, you possibly can't see what I'm doing at the moment because I am, I'll just bring out the mobile cam, I'm just sticking those white, these white bones back in. Four all together. Well, four came out, so four going back. And the other thing to remember on this model is two screws at the back of the um, screen. Two screws just go round the back here and one round the other side down there. One of, oops, one of Vestel's little party tricks. Anyway, Double checking that the screen is in comfortably so I can put on comfortably. Seems very small in here tonight. This place is usually, you know, large, large enough for my comfort and needs. I know I'm not going to forget about those two screws. In fact, I will turn the TV the other way. Making sure there's nothing in the way of the screen. And I'll put them in. That's one, that's two. Seem to want to go in now. Why is that? Let it go.
just making sure we're in and up and everything okay there. We seem to be. Yeah. LVDS is not dragging because and the screen tabs aren't dragging because I've just put the clips in so I can turn it around. I'm talking to myself now. Well, I've put everything back together and I haven't tested the backlights yet so I'd better do that just in case. Put all the screws back in seems to be yes <clears throat> this was always a bit of a job with these old 50 inches fettling them back into place They were always a tight fit. So, I had to be careful. Because this side seems to be sticking up more than it should, as you can possibly see just there. Let's just have a look at the model number and see how old this is, because I, I haven't checked yet. Right, 50, is that a H, HYT62U? I'm looking through the monitor, which is miles away, uh, and I'm going to zoom in on the date. 2014, May 2014. It's done well to la last that long. Should last even longer now with a set of back lights. Oh, you know what I've done, don't you? I've put the back on without putting the power supply back in. How many times have I done that before? Which now means lifting the back off, which hopefully is going to be a tad easier. That should do it. Should be enough into the power supply. Somebody said to me the other day, Do you get nostalgic when it comes to repairing TV? So, if, if like this job, you were start repairing a TV that you haven't repaired for ages, um, no is the answer. I know, what you, I know what you meant, but no, I don't. Um, with the best will in the world and I've always got the best will in the world always with the best will in the world it's it, it is getting rather tiring doing the backlights all the time it's nice when it's something a little bit different but uh, this job sadly is probably 80% backlights at the moment me not to um, test the backlights properly because they didn't work so I've had to strip it down again and I'm gonna have to grab the backlight tester we did see one that was bent didn't we and I think it was this I think it was this B here but I'll go through them individually. I could just they're all lighting up, they're all lighting up.
Oh, that's not. The middle one is playing around. This is the one I thought would play around, but it is fine. Okay. So there's a breakage somewhere. Maybe the middle one was bent as well. I mean, let's face it, if one got bent, there's a chance that... Most of them got bent. Ugh. So let's go down the line. There are a lot of test points around, but okay, that test point doesn't connect to there. Anyway, so hopefully. chance to see as we look at this middle strip here. That's two lighting up, that's three, that's four, that's five, could always be the ground, six, seven, eight, well yeah that says And it's not. So, it's looking like the ground is missing. Because they're all lighting up there. I wonder from where it's missing. What I think I'm going to have to do is run a wire from here, from this bottom bit up to there. So anyway. Running out of solder. Well, I'm not. I mean, I'm running out of solder from that particular reel. Can I rest that there? new reel of solder here but this is the heavy duty stuff man I mean this is proper heavy duty but sometimes Just trying to um, how much.
much do I need? About that much, that's how much you need, that much. Stick it all down the side later to get a bit of right. So I'll just link the grounds up and I'll tidy this wire up if it works. I've got to get the down back lights to come on first, so I need to plug them in. We do. It's all right, they're supposed to come on and off. It's just the Hitachi flash. Right. So, what I could do with doing is putting a, a strip, I mean, there's already a strip down here of Uh, double-sided tape just to hold that wire in position which is something I will go looking for right hopefully I can plug my blu-ray player into it if I switch everything on let's just make sure the Hitachi is going to give us a logo 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 right Um, I don't know what channel it was on. I'm going to need. Oh yes. Probably should have thought about a remote earlier, shouldn't I? Was this an old Vestel remote? Sorry, I'm looking at. I'm looking at this, but it doesn't feel like there's any batteries in it, and there's not. But I just thought that was an old um, Vestel type remote. Let's have a look what we got underneath here then. Anyway, as you may know, if you have backlights sent to you through the post, because a lot of them come from China and they don't come by themselves. There's always a ton of stuff on top of them. Cat's coming into play now. But I missed. A little misty girl who's turned nine not so long ago, didn't you? And yet she lives in the workshop, as most of you know. She's got a way of getting in and getting out. And she doesn't do anything naughty in here, so she doesn't cause any problems. Um, I mean, it does smell a bit in here sometimes, but that's simply because I've got her food in here. You don't smell, do you? You're a little girly. Keep yourself clean. But she doesn't make a mess in here, if you know what I mean. Anyway, that's by the by. This is not a cat channel. Hitachi is back up and running. Um, I've got to find my love again for fixing backlights, especially in old stuff like this. Um, I don't know, it just doesn't... don't satisfy me anymore. But obviously that's more to do with me than anything else. But thank you very much for watching. Um, and I will... Catch you later on down the road when something other than backlight comes in.